verified. You're free to dock. About damn time. All clear. Welcome aboard. Neil and Saz, stay focused! Why can't I do it? Mm. I got no reason to keep living. I can't even kill you. should be proud. Your son's a hero. The boy who saved Cocoon. We'll erect a memorial in Eden and put his crystal on display. A memorial? He's a little boy! As the son of a pulseless sea, he would have lived in shame and misery. Isn't it better he be treated with reverence? as a monument to sacrifice. <laughs> the next time your eyes open will be the last. up from being a crystal once. <laughs> well, that means Dodge will wake up one day too, right? <sighs> what was it like? I mean, how did it happen? It, you were done with your focus, right? I was chosen. I was made into a Lassie to fight against Cocoon. It happened back on Grand Pulse, hundreds of years ago. We finished our focus, and we fell into a long crystal sleep.
we woke up on Cocoon to the start of a new focus. Fang, she'd forgotten everything. And for me, just the thought of hurting people again. It was too much. So I lied. I played dumb, said I'd lost my memory. I wanted to escape my fate as a lessee. And ever since then, I've been running away from it. Let us through! Block our way, you die! You trying to get him angry? Yeah, I thought maybe they'd run. There's been enough uh. blood spilled. You thought they'd run? Let me refresh your memory. Those soldiers think they're protecting Cocoon from the sea. The Falci have them all brainwashed. Falci? I, I have had it. We cannot let this go on. Attention all crew. Code green. Repeat. Code green. Security forces stand by. Hostile forces on board. Code green. Attention all crew. Code green. Repeat. Code green. Security forces stand by. Hostile forces on board. Code green. Get up! You're being moved! On your feet, scum! You too! Get up. Alright, time to split. Not run. There's a difference. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's go. Do I deserve to escape? What? You'd rather die? What? Because uh... that's got to scare you. Scares me. Scares me so much, I think I might die of fright. So, I push myself to live even harder. <laughs> I can just imagine Dodge laughing at me talking this nonsense. <laughs> right now, <laughs> I'd do anything to see that smile. <laughs> hmm? Stay positive. Right? Code purple! I repeat, code purple! Security breach! All units on alert! Code purple! Looks like we ain't the only ones cleaning house. Could be Lucy. Could be Fang. Come on, let's hurry! Let's go get rescued. Mm -mm. No, not this time. For once in my life, I am going to save her. <laughs> All right, now you're talking. Let's go. <laughs> Code purple. I repeat, Code purple. Security breach. All units on alert. Code purple. All these colors. What's it mean? It means we're doing our job. Making a lot of Psycom guys nervous. Who are they fighting? Anil. We've lost the intruders. That means we're code yellow. No, wait. Code blue? If we were orange, that would mean... The escapees made it through. They're entering the engine room. No. Damn the sea. Intruders located. They're on the weather deck, starboard side. <sighs> Make it rain. Desperate times. Demand flexibility. Code white.
power's down. What's going on? Isn't this great? The wind, it's dying down. Yeah, it's stopping. And we're decelerating. They up to something? I don't suppose it could just be, I don't know, good luck? That looks a lot more like bad luck. You got a point. Not to me. That? That we can do something about. So Light, how you figure this makes us lucky? Because when we kill it, we're one step closer to Vanille. How's that? Well, when you put it that way... Miss me? You the monster! What? Where? Talk later, Missy. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, so, uh, what's on the agenda? Uh, toppling the Sanctum? No. I mean, really. He's serious. We're gonna take down the Sanctum and give Cocoon back to the people. The Falci have called the shots for long enough. If we pull this off, it'll be a miracle. Well, good thing Lady Luck's on our side. <laughs> More of them? You know, this is getting really old. Check this out! A miracle. Grand Pulse style! Uh... Vanille, go fish! Got it! That's a good girl. All right. Let's get on.
Time to purge a Primark! You got it! Yeah! <laughs> doubts but I also believe that if we stuck together somehow we could change our fate Isley's through there. We're still gonna have our talk. So let's survive this first, yeah? Right. <laughs> Been looking for you, Nabat. Why don't you leave, Jill? Or rather, take your leave. Humans have no business here. What? Your eminence! <laughs> what? <Is that> magic? <laughs> Monster! People are not yours to use! What else does one do with tools? Please, no! Cocoon is a factory built by Valsi. A factory for the mass production of human thralls. Not anymore, it's not. What can mere men do? Without our help, Death is all of which you're capable. You saw the fools, a mindless mob drunk on fear of a few Lassi. If they only knew, a Lassi was the one filling their glasses! Lassi? <laughs> you mean me? <laughs> oh, child, perish the thought. I am more than that! I am Falsi. My name is Martandorus. Voice of the Sanctum and Lord Sovereign of the Cocoon Falsi. Your kind feared the darkness, so we gave you light. You begged us for the purge, and did it not come to pass? Now you spurn our counsel. You must learn your place. Cocoon's nothing to you. Follow my lead. Keep out of this.
see running the sanctum. Then, I guess it wasn't Eden controlling things after all. As I said, ah! I am Lord Sovereign. Guess foul sea don't go down as easy as the rest of us. Ease is not the issue. You have not fought to win. You should know quite well already the sure way of dispatching our kind. Ragnarok. What's Ragnarok? Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pitiful the sea. You've forgotten your focus. Ragnarok is the beast one of you must become in order to lay waste to Cocoon. You have had the dream. One among you will become that monstrosity. Defeat Orphan and destroy Cocoon. Orphan? The font of Eden's power. Orphan fuels Eden with strength. And Eden, in turn, sustains you and the rest of our kind. Destroy Orphan. And you'll release a force such as this world has never seen. Cocoon will be torn asunder. So if I did that, destroyed Orphan... <laughs> Your focus will be fulfilled. So what? Who says it has to be? <laughs> Sarah asked us to save Cocoon before she turned to crystal. Save it! And that's what we're gonna do. Sarah was trying to tell us how to complete our focus, and we have... <laughs> Allow me to help you see the truth of things. The moment you arrived, your friend wept crystal tears. This was because her focus required that you be brought together. That girl did nothing but assemble the tools for Cocoon's destruction. Did it never occur to you? Or did you simply refuse to countenance the thought? If you will not face the truth, then face the peril of your plight. See, see how stark reality is. Come on. This is bad. The yoke's jammed! What? Knew it was a trap! <laughs> Something's coming! <sighs> Not so fast, let's see. Hang on! <laughs> The 
the hell kind of ship is this? Fighting on its own? Clever, aren't you? I give up! The shield! Vestige? Something like that. It's close to Eden. Yeah, well, what I don't understand is after the purge and all that Lassie paranoia, why keep a chunk of pulse under the floorboards? Hmm. Is this what the Primarch wanted us to see? A place for Lassie to accept their fate. Do you really think our focus is what Dysley said it is? You mean become Ragnarok? Destroy the foul sea Eden and shatter cocoon. That's what the vision's telling us, more or less. <sighs> so, we're back to square one. Out of luck. Mr. Hero! Cocoon calling snow! It's almost like. Dysley wants it to come true. Seems that way. <laughs> he sure didn't mind explaining it. Here's your focus on the silver platter. But that doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Why would a cocoon foul sea want to destroy cocoon? Maybe it's a foul sea thing. You know what I mean? Some grand design we just don't understand. Huh. Hey, Snow! Nothing from you? Uh-huh. So, this way? I, uh, I gotta apologize. Looks like I was wrong. About Sarah's focus? Not like you to second-guess yourself. Yeah, well, even heroes make mistakes. What about your plan to protect Cocoon? Either way, your faith in Sarah was strong. That strength got you this far. It was all wrong. Yeah. You tried so hard to convince us that you even fooled yourself. <laughs> You've been a total idiot. But still... It saved me. You trusted Sarah. Let that faith drive you. It even made me want to believe. Still in cocoon. It's kind of creepy. Huh. 
This place, it must be an ark. An ark? That's what they call them. Long ago, the Falci who made their home on Grand Pulse were afraid of invasion from the outside. As part of their battle preparations, they created an army of living weapons, and they stored those weapons in arcs. And they hid the Arcs all over the world. Everyone on Grand Pulse knew the legend. So, this is basically a Pulse Armory. Mm-hmm. Most of us never believed in them. A few people tried searching, but they never found a thing. Who'd have thought to look on Cocoon? Right under our noses. <laughs> Some secret they kept. Those Sanctum guys, what are they up to? The story's not done. There's more. They used to say the Arcs had a more practical purpose. Mm -hmm. Huh. Really? Yeah, to force Lassie to master their shiny new powers. Uh huh. Okay, so I get it. Dysley's goal is to forge us into stronger weapons, right? Not Seath, but monsters all the same. Think of it as training for the fight ahead. Hope's right! Wait. Uh, what was that? Ah, uh, 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 these guys again. Fun times. Over there. We gotta keep moving. What? Huh? Oh, easy, guys. It's all right. Reigns is a sanctum officer. He's been helping us uh, out. Why are you here? <laughs> Reigns! You traitor! <laughs> I put you on the path. That was my focus. <laughs> what? You're a sea? Since long before we met. I did my best to assist you, as bid by the Sanctum Falci. Now do you understand? The Falci have watched over you, guiding your every step. The luck that saved you time and again was a deliberate machination. Why, you may ask? The Primarch, or should I say, Bartandalus, is crafting you into the instruments of Cocoon's demise. We've been played for fools. A Cocoon Falci? Why? Why? To restore the Maker. The Maker? The entity responsible for creating both humans and Falci. Long ago, the Maker departed this world, leaving the two races behind. In a sense, human and Falci are brothers, 
orphaned by the same parent. As for the humans, they forgot the order imposed by the Maker. They began to war amongst themselves for the first time in history. The Falci focused on recalling their lost deity and returning the world to its former glory. This purpose lies at the heart of all their actions. Calling back the Maker requires a fitting sacrifice. Yeah, we've heard. The destruction of Cocoon. The lives of this world's entire populace in bloody tribute. <clears throat> no, that's crazy talk. I don't get it. Why do they need us? Couldn't the Fauci end Cocoon with just a thought? Their existence is bound to the creation and maintenance of this floating shell. It is their very nature that holds them in check. You mean, Cocoon Falci can't destroy Cocoon? They needed tools. If we can stop this by doing nothing... Mm. We'll do nothing. Noble, I expected as much. You lied to us. What happened to your dream of rebuilding Cocoon for the people? Was it all a lie? A shadow of a dream from when I was human. It was change I craved, and once I'd built the influence to make things happen, there was change. I gained all the power I could hope for, but was a puppet with no will to wield it. It wasn't the foul sea who changed. It was me. You... you were made a Lassie? A Lassie. Tied to an inescapable focus, a slave of destiny. I'd lost hope. I'd all but given up on dreams of freedom. What are you saying? I'm here of my own accord, not by foul sea order. Seeing you fight brought it all back. Brought back that future I once strove for. I too will challenge my fate. What? Easy, guys. If I can defeat you here, the Falci plan will fail. Reigns! I will use all my remaining power. Set you free! What? Did he complete his focus? 
I don't think so. All Reigns did was try to save Cocoon in his own way. His own way. Uh, hey! Where are you? Snow! I think Reigns was searching. Searching for a way to make us understand. To understand the frustration of being a lassie. A lassie bound to a focus. And maybe what it meant to be human. Looks like it's a dead end. How about down there? If the stories are right, it's a maze. This place is a boot camp for Lassie. All kinds of challenges from Grand Pulse are waiting. Challenges, huh? To get us all ready to go wipe out Cocoon? We can wait here if Turnin' Seath sounds better. I have had enough of this! Where's the way out?! Way out? Who said there was one? Bring it on. My mind is made up. Maybe I will end up a Seath. But until that happens, I'm gonna make Sarah proud. I couldn't bring myself to admit that this tear meant goodbye. That's why I kept searching for her. <laughs> but I didn't need to. Sarah was here the whole time. Right here, watching over me. Now I get it. What this tear's been telling me is to not let our focus win. It's not the fallacy we should listen to. It's Sarah and Reigns. Do you know why? Because our focus doesn't matter. What matters to me is that we protect Cocoon. Whatever it takes. Same here. I'll help you do it. All right. I'm in. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, come on. When a chocobo agrees, you know you're on the right path. There you go. <laughs> well, That's right. Count me out. What? Mm -hmm. If you all want to go it on your own, then so will I. Oh, hey, Bang. Hey. Now? hey. Let Cocoon get what's coming. They hate us for being with C. What's it to me if they die? Better that than watch a friend go see. If you don't have the nerve for it, I'll do it myself. Go on alone, get stronger, and smash Cocoon out of the sky! Oh, uh, you turn Seath and there's no coming back! I'm not... Uh, letting it end that way! doing here come to take pity on me come to take care of a broken lassie that thing's here to help us yeah help that's what idolins do they help us idolins are our salvation if we can't decide what to do next they come put us out of our misery wait so you haven't made up your mind yet. <clears throat> Why are you protecting me? What are you doing? Protecting one of our own. We can do without their brand of mercy. And we don't need a Falsy's orders either. I'm fighting this focus to the end. 
We all are. So please, fight with us. I don't suppose you'd be willing to call it a sign of me being right. <laughs> no? All right. Okay. Listen, keep our eyes on the goal and we'll figure something out. All right. Hey, Sarah. So I guess being a Lassie doesn't have to mean you can't do what's right, does it? to Grand Pulse. Right. Hmm. So what? That's our exit? Pulse? Or bust? Could be one of Dysley's traps. Well, that's not good. Do you think it might take us to Eden? Mm-mm. I'm doing the flying. No more of these ships taking charge of our travel plan stuff. The only place this thing has taken us is where these boys tell it to. <laughs> really? That is a Grand Pulse ship. Really? <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> Either way, we're on borrowed time. So we might as well go. We get lucky, maybe we'll even turn up some way to get rid of these goofy tattoos. But there's no way to do that. You never know. Maybe we just didn't think to look for one. If nothing else, we know Cocoon's safe for the time being. I'd say it's worth going to take a look. Maybe. But what about your dad? Ooh. I made him a promise. I promised him to keep going and do what I had to. He said only I would know what that was. The world's full of lies. There's no way of knowing what's right. All we can do is believe in ourselves. It's easy to sit back and let people trick you. Like how the Sanctum had us all thinking that a Lassie was some sort of monster. I'm done with their lies. Falci, this whole focus thing. From here on out, I use my eyes. Think. And act. I might not make all the right choices, but as long as I'm the one who decided what to do, there's nothing to regret. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> all right, let's do it. I'm with you. Bad choices and all. <laughs> of course, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Pulse is hell, you know. Oh, is it now? How many times have you been there? <laughs> None. But I want to go and see what it's like for myself. Okay, people. <laughs> so, everybody in? Right, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Off to hell we go. No one ever said the future'd be easy. saw the glimmer of a dream somewhere in the sky that night. The tiniest spark of hope that we could change our fate. Who could say? someone else. <laughs> Happens all the time. Who thinks we lunch? Yeah, like on a seafood buffet. Seafood, cute. Guys, here it comes! Home sweet home. Welcome to Grand Pulse. 